Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here to do my weekly check-in for May 6th through May 12th. And so let's get started. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so for this week, again, I'm going to use my extra space to track my sinking fund spending. Uh, it was a bit more substantial than I would have liked, but that's just kind of how it goes. Um, so I did get fuel, and that was twenty five seventy one. And then my grocery spending, I did an order for Grove Collaborative, and then I had a couple things that, a couple transactions at Walmart, not a couple things. Um, my total grocery spending for this week was two sixty six fifty one. And that's groceries and household, so it's all of our household stuff, cleaners, um, yeah, anything that I need for the house, like I lump my hygiene stuff, I just got a new um, charcoal toothbrush, and that goes under my household stuff, and some toothpaste, and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a catch-all for everything I need to buy for the house. And then my sinking fund spending was nine fifty seven eighty four, and that is because I my order for Erin Condren was two hundred and sixty two dollars and ten cents for launch day, and then I registered Declan for outdoor soccer, and I switched my auto insurance from the company I was with and um. So instead of paying, I think it was going to be like two fourteen for May and June and July, um, just the way that my payments fell, it was six hundred and nine dollars for the whole six months for my car. So I just went ahead and did that, and then um, I have a prescription. I've got or I had a prescription I had to buy. I still have to pick it up, but it's there and it's already paid for. So. That is why that is so high, mostly because of the auto insurance that I switched. And then unbudgeted, I did have one thing. Um, we went to, we had Pizza Hut this week. And so it's $39.82. And so that's just kind of how that went. Okay, so now let's do some subtraction. So I've got 70 minus 2571 is 4429. And And this one is still just a line through just because I didn't budget for any, like I budgeted for my sinking fund spending, but I don't count it in my weekly budget. I just kind of like to see how much I'm spending so far. And then unbudgeted is just $39.82. So I'm going to go ahead and move these over. And then the red, of course, is over budget and then I should definitely be set on grocery or not groceries we should be set on groceries but I should be set on I won't I shouldn't be over budget on my fuel for this month especially because I should only have to fill up one or two more times but I think just once so anyway that's kind of where I'm sitting um, not doing great on the groceries in the household I think in the future I will have to separate those or up the budget for that. So I guess we'll kind of see how where we end up at the end of this month. But I'm going to end this here and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.